Lastly, instead of waiting for the moment that just seems right, we need to go. We need to add that ready, set, go to our life instead of that ready, set, wait. Go back to the beginning of our passage that we read. It says, after Jesus was talking to him about the food is to do the will of him who sent me. He has another question that he adds in there. He says, do you not say that there is still four months and then comes the harvest? You think about that question. See, Jesus knows these guys. He knows what kind of business they're in. He's using an illustration that they can grab onto. You know, I don't have to be busy right now because I've already planted, or when you plant, there is a time of waiting for the plants to come up. Maybe I ought to cultivate them a little bit, get the weeds out, and nowadays we're able to fertilize regular and do all kinds of stuff to make sure the harvest is, is, is great. But Jesus sensed that there is a time that they're saying, we don't have to get ready and go to work until the four months are up for the plants to be fully grown and ready to be yielded. That's something to think about. How many times have we said, well, there's some more time for that? There's, I, you know, middle age, got some time left, let's wait. Maybe I'm too young, maybe I need to wait till I'm older. Maybe we're up in years, and maybe it's, well, I know I got a few good years left. You never know. God has put something before you. It's not a time to sit and wait. It's not a time to sit there and say, well, you know, something, something's going to happen. Some, maybe, you know, maybe I'll, I'll go watch the field. I'll go out there and take a, a, a look at stuff and just see, see what's going on. We put a lot of feelers out there all the time. And with God, we, we, we tend to do the same with Him instead of uh, being one that is uh, looking uh, constantly, seeking out what can be done. He's, there is a sense where we have a tendency just to kind of ga gaze over what's, what's out there and take a look, see, and like, well, you know, one day I'll get on that. One day I can get on this. When we do that with our life and our walk with Christ, there are so many things that get left out of place. It's the easiest way for us to get in that place in our life where we're ready and we're set. But wait, not ready. God has put that go in our life for a reason he has told us that we need to be not just hearers of the word, but what? Doers. He has told us many times that when the field is white with harvest, guess what? What do you need to do? Go out there and get it. So what if it's, hey, I got a couple more weeks before it's supposed to be right? How many of y'all have had the privilege of being able to have a child? They always come at the last day of the nine months. Sometimes they surprise you. They come early. Sometimes they stay inside for a little bit longer, get some more rest before they come out. But there is no real set time for things. We need to be ready. So when something does happen, let's go. Let's do this.